Well, meantime, the House today passing a bill its supporters contend would give parents a greater say over their child's education, but opponents argue it would, in fact, do just the opposite. Here are the five House Republicans that joined Democrats in void voting against this measure. Chief Washington correspondent Blake Berman joins us live. Blake, this fight is not ending anytime soon. Well, Nicole, House Republicans say they are just simply responding to frustrated parents from all over the country. But this was mainly, as you mentioned, a party line vote with Democrats saying Republicans are focusing on the wrong things. The bill is passed. The Parents' Bill of Rights making it through the House of Representatives Friday morning, a key priority for conservatives who say many parents were overlooked, with some even targeted. Yeah. For expressing their concerns over various decisions made by school boards, education leaders, and teachers unions in the recent years. Today was a win for every mother, every father, but most importantly, for every student in America. The bill would require schools to notify parents of several established rights, including being able to review a school's curriculum and its budget, obtain a list of library books and materials, get information on potential school violence, and the ability to meet with teachers and address the local school board. Parents are now awakened. They have seen what has been occurring behind the veil, because the veil was lifted. It is our job, it is our responsibility to protect our children from the evils being taught in some classrooms across the country. The bill passed largely along party lines. Not a single House Democrat voted for it, as they say Republicans are focusing on the wrong priorities. We have not had one hearing on gun violence in our classrooms. Instead, we are prioritizing MAGA talking points. If you don't like a book, don't let your kid read it. But you don't get to tell the rest of us parents what our kids should be allowed to read. The Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has vowed the bill will go nowhere, and the White House has signaled its disapproval with a statement of administration policy that says, quote, legislation should not politicize our children's education. It should deliver the resources that schools and families actually need. And we got a statement today from the National Education Association. That is the group, the union that represents public school teachers. They take the side of the White House and Democrats in that statement. They say students, parents, and educators deserve better. Nicole? All right, Blake, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.